This odd colored dime sold at auction for almost $3,500. Do you know why? Take a look at this 1964 dime compared to a normal looking 1964 dime. What do you think happened here to make this dime so valuable? 1964 dimes are supposed to be made from a planchet that is mostly silver. This dime is made mostly of copper. Here's what we think happened. Because the copper planchet is the same diameter as the silver dime planchet, it's possible that a strip intended for penny planchets was run through the planchet cutting machine for dime planchets, and this dime was minted on a dime size copper planchet. How this happened, it's quite a rare find. It's unlikely you'll ever come across one of these. Anytime you're not sure if a coin was minted on the correct planchet or not, you'll want to weigh it to make sure, especially when you're dealing with transition coins. This Mint State 62 1965 Philadelphia minted dime sold at auction for $9,000. Here's why. 1965 was a transition year for quarters and dimes. In 1964, dimes were made of 90% silver. In 1965, dimes were made of nickel and copper. This silver planchet didn't get the memo and was minted in 1965. How do you know if your dime is silver? You can check the edge of your dime and look for the copper clad layer like this one right here. If you don't see the copper layer, you'll want to weigh your dime. The copper nickel clad dime will weigh approximately 2.27 grams, and the silver dime will weigh about 2.5 grams. If you need a cheap but reliable coin scale like the one in the video, check out the link in the video description below. This coin causes a lot of confusion whenever I talk about it. It's worth knowing about because this one right here, it sold at auction for $45,600. Why is it so rare? This is a 1968 proof coin and it's missing the S mint mark it's supposed to have. Proof dimes were minted as part of proof sets and come in a plastic case like this one right here. So you're not going to find one of these in circulation. If you, your parents, or your grandparents have 1968 proof sets, you definitely want to check them out. There haven't been many of these found, and there could be more of them out there in the hands of unsuspecting collectors. So make sure you check your proof sets. If you want to learn more about valuable coins, click on that video to the left. Thanks for watching.